Hey, 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 hey. Good morning, good morning. Uh, August has arrived. <laughs> uh, so let me just get started because I'm not going to be home long. Um, but I want to get started because I want to just, you know, drop the same spirit in and go about the day <laughs> so you can carry this on with you and it really might help you think uh about a couple of things and that's what i want to happen i want your perspective to be shifted to be changed to be lifted uh because without that we're really not going to get to where we want to get to especially if we feel as if we're not on track with the things and places and all of that of life that we really want to be on so perspective shifting shifting for august so let's talk about that let me introduce myself my name is coach mo uh i am the founder of aspire big inspire bigger and i'm a woman's empowerment coach and um i empower determined women uh, to come out of their own way <laughs> and take charge of their purpose, time, and personal development. And so today we're going to talk about mindset, our, our goals, and how we're moving forward for the month of August. Just August, because we don't need to take the whole year and uh, stuff it all into one month, right? So just August. And we need to be doing this every single month, right? I work with women one-on-one and I work in a group coaching setting and we work hard on our mindset above anything else. So our mindset is always the top of the list. What are you thinking about? What's your perspective on what you're doing in your life right now? How are you doing? What are you doing? And how is that affecting how you feel and what you think about life and success? Um, it's important that we put positive reinforcement in our life. And the way that we do that is by positive thinking, uh, positive self-talk and positive projection too uh and, and people might call that uh fake it till you make it but i call it positive projection if we project in a positive manner even just to ourselves, we will accomplish more things on a day-to-day -day basis we will just accomplish more things um and how we know that is you know a lot of people do daily affirmations. And I try my best to do them too. I actually have a whole bunch of like sticky notes that I use. Um, and you see, <laughs> I write sticky notes. I write notes to myself. And they're sort of like love notes. I tell myself what I would want to tell others that I love or... I would want others to see in me or tell me or believe about me. Or I would want to believe about myself. And I put them on sticky notes and I put them on my, my mirror in my bathroom. Um, sometimes on the wall in my room if it's something that I really want to get deep in. So these are the things that help me keep my mind on track and stay in a mindset. I'm not going to say stay. And uh, keep my priority as staying in the mindset that positivity uh growth love of self um is a good track to success so our mindset is august it's that means if we sneeze too hard it's going to be december and that means if we sneeze even harder it's going to be 2025 okay so <laughs> we have to get real 
And that means, I don't mean like real, like you've been delusional. What I mean, like we have to get real. We have to really talk to ourselves. And we have to have some 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 umph in it. We have to speak to ourselves some gumption. Let us ourselves know that we are here for ourselves. So our mindset it needs to be geared towards really treating ourselves with kindness. Because throughout the year, right? I know you may have come up against some hard things, and I'm not gonna say may because. I'm going to say 99.9% of the world has come up against uh, hardships in the last year, two years. And, um, you know, the stakes were high and they may still be high for for a lot of us, most of us. And so um, our mindset may have been a little shaky. And that's understandable. You know, it's understandable that our mind may be playing tricks on us and may be telling us that it's all over kid (laughs) you know you can't go anywhere from here things are all bad and even the things that are not bad are gonna get bad because things are going crazy right now the truth is it's not all over it's not all bad and it's not over here you know like it's not over here at least Um, You have to look towards uh, the life that you truly want. And your mindset is going to help you stick to your goals, be your guide, and your strength in times like this. So your mindset is very important. Whatever you've been thinking, take note of it. Um, it's important in my um, in my August newsletter that I send out um, I talked about writing down your thoughts and your feelings write them down journal them see where your mind is see where your head is at right now because I really understand if your head is all over the place if you're feeling down if you're feeling like you aren't where you want to be in life I really understand that Um, and if you are feeling like you just aren't happy with you truly understand that I want you to write all your feelings down positive, negative, all of them but the negative feelings uh, after you've written them all down I want you to turn the page turn the page in your notebook clean page I want you to write every single positive perspective that you can have around those negative thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Right? Because we do have a choice. That's the truth about it. No matter what is happening to to us in life, we have a choice on the perspective that we will take on our mind, on the things we will think about that. And um, we have to take that choice as a privilege, as an opportunity, and really hone in on it, right? So every negative thing that you may be feeling, if you may feel like you're far away from where you thought you were, that's okay. I want you to write it all down. Then turn the page, clean page, write down a positive. If it's five positive perspectives that you think of in your mind, against one negative, I want you to write all five down. Make sure that you are persistent about breaking down those negative mental barriers that you had. It's already August. The end of the year is soon approaching. I don't want you to get to December and say to yourself, I ain't did nothing (laughs) that I set out to do. Because in August, when you heard this here, you could have written your list and found five different positive alternate perspectives that you could be having around each and every, every negative thought that you've been having and feeling and uh, thinking. I want you to act on those different positive perspectives. Act 
on them. Try each of them out. If you wrote down five, today you're going to start with perspective, positive perspective number one. You're going to think that way all day, right? You're going to think that way all day. And if positive perspective number one is kind of like, meh, I'm not really into that. Tomorrow, you're going to look at positive perspective number two in that area and think it all day long. Act like that's what's happening. Whatever positive perspective is, number two, you're going to you want to just play the part all day long. And that one might fit. And that one might feel good, you know? And and if that one fits and feels good, keep that one. Do it again and again and again until it's a part of you. That negative perspective that you first had, it no longer belongs in your thought process because you have taken a positive perspective and put it in place of that negative perspective and you've acted on it you've been active daily using that positive perspective I bet you all the money in my wallet alright I'm not going to do that because all the money in my bank account (laughs) that you are going to grow in that area if you do that Okay, if you truly are consistent with that activity, you're going to grow by December. Something that you've been wanting to do will get in motion, if not happen altogether. I promise you that. And I bet you all the money in my bank account that that's what's going to happen. All right. So our mindset. If we are not thinking past this very moment in a positive way, sad to say we'll be here again and again, day in and day out. That's an uncomfortable thought. Who? Nobody wants to be stuck. So let's think mindset. And then... Right, I haven't even spoken about goals yet because our mindset is number one. So now our mindset is working out and we're thinking positively. And so we're acting. We got a little pep in our step. We out here, right? Diddy bopping. <laughs> and so our goals, here, here are our goals. Write down some of these goals that you had for this year. If you had a bunch of goals at the beginning of the year, say you had 10 or say you had 12, one a month. And you're in August and eight of them are undone. I want you to start at the beginning. Start at the first four goals. It's okay that you're in month eight. And I'm saying that lightly. I understand that it may not be okay because you have goals and you had some way that you wanted to strive to. But here you are. Like I said earlier, be real with yourself. Here I am, it's August, and I didn't do goals one through eight. So why would you start goal nine and 12? Go back to goal number one, okay? Make sure everything is in line and in order. Go back to the first in order. and start. Let's start working on that this month. Whatever your first goal is, it, it, um, if you did goals one through three, and then stop because your momentum just has been held up and your mind ain't been right and you and you've been feeling some kind of way, you've been distracted, and you've been working on other things and or you've just been wasting your own time. Start at number three. Wherever you left off, come on. Pick it back up and get started. It is not too late. You didn't mess up the rest of the year. By stopping, just start where you stopped off. All right? Because as long as you live in, you have time to continue to work on the things that you have uh, in your heart and mind um, and on your list <laughs> to work on. So, we talked about mindset. We got to get our mind right. If we don't have our mind right, we cannot do anything. 
all them goals you wrote down, throw them in the trash if you don't have your mind right. I promise you that as well. Um, I'm not going to keep betting y'all the money in my account. Because. But I promise you, if your mind is not right, that's why you aren't finishing and uh, accomplishing your goals. That's why. Um, so moving forward, moving forward in the month of August, I really want all of us to change our perspectives on how we're getting to where we're going. We need to do this thing with joy, with humility. And the humility comes from uh, knowing that if I woke up this morning, uh, I still belong here and I still have something to do. And I want to live up to those things. I want to I don't want to take this opportunity for granted. There are people who did not wake up and they had goals and they were really good goal setters and they really hit their marks, but they didn't wake up. Uh, and they will be able to say, um, people will be able to say about them that they left here following their heart and following all their goals and accomplishing, uh, the things that they really set out to do. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate that they aren't here to be able to finish them out. But you're here. And you're here and you're able to finish out your goals. Every time you thought about something and you wrote it down and you started and you didn't stop and you didn't continue, you really wasted an opportunity. You know? So... We're not going to waste any more opportunities. Let's live in a hum humble uh, mind mindset. Uh, and then just a loving mindset. So joyful, humble, and a loving mindset. I want you to love yourself the way you want to be loved. Um, love yourself that way. Take yourself serious. Take your goals serious. Take your time serious. Take your personal development serious. It belongs to you and nobody else can live your life but you. You have to make the best of the life that you are given. Uh, and I mean the life within you. You are alive. Nobody else can make your life better. The life that you live. Nobody else lives in your body. Nobody else lives in your life. You do. So it's your responsibility and your privilege and your opportunity to make uh, your life the best you can make it. Uh, and you do that with, um, you know, keeping a mindset of joy, uh, humility, and love. All right? So... Those are the things that I just wanted to talk to y'all about today. I hope that um, it resonated with you in some way. Even if you're on the top of your game, I know you understand uh, what this is. And I would love it if you comment. Um, I'm going to post this on my page. So I would love it if you comment and just leave some encouraging words for those uh, who are really struggling with getting it moving and, and working towards the things they truly want in life uh our mindset is everything our mindset is everything uh even with the even people with the worst work ethic if their mindset is is popping their life is popping <laughs> in a lot of ways their business their relationships you know their self-talk. They talk good to themselves. They let themselves down. They, uh, they, their work ethic is, is poor, but you would never know it by the way they talk about themselves and why they, by the way they uh, describe themselves. So, um, your mindset, super important. Let's put that in the forefront this month, especially. I don't want us to be, uh, feeling like we are left behind. 
uh, because that's not that's not healthy that's not a healthy feeling that doesn't feel good and that's not where we want to be all right so again I'm coach Mo I'm a women's empowerment coach and also if any of this resonates with you any of the things that I've been speaking about and you really are looking to speak to someone about this you really looking for some guidance and some help I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for women <laughs> and also I have a women's group uh, where we work on uh, vision building accountability self-care and time management week in and week out and I would love for you to join us in doing those things uh, so you can book a vision building uh, strategy call with me to see if it's a great fit for you and uh, yeah that is it y'all y'all have a great day uh, I'll be on here <laughs> Oma <laughs> so I will see you guys again lady y'all <laughs>